Thank you, fellas. You mad, Max? You all right? Good? Oh, yeah. We're, we're good, I'm not right? like simple, plan, sensitive band. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, so much for the simple, plan, hurry up offense tour. Uh, still coming up on the show, Chris Masterson from Malcolm in the Middle. Rocco Despierto is going to come out and cook a little of the holiday meal for us. And the music of Ludacris, all coming up in just a little bit. Our first guest is the voice behind some of the greatest songs of our time, including Everybody Hurts, Losing My Religion, and It's the End of the World as We Know It. Say hi to the frontman of R.E.M. We're thrilled he made time for us. Michael Stipe, everybody. Michael! Oh. Thank you for being here. Happy holidays. What's Thank new? You. What's shaking? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm doing good. Yeah. Are you? I was thinking about you today, and uh, and I was thinking, I wonder what Michael Stipe is like. It's so close to Christmas in New York, you can't get away from it. I mean, I don't know if you've been around. Traffic's crazy. People are shopping, and you don't strike me as the type of guy that's like on the ladder stringing Christmas lights at home. Are you? No, or? I kind of throw them on the windowsill and, <laughs> and leave them on overnight. That's the one thing that punk rock had to offer to pop popular culture. I think is is the use of Christmas lights year round. Yes. Because yes, yes. They're very cheap. Often on the drum kits. But I kind of, when I, when I go out shopping and stuff like that, I'm very stealth about it. Yeah, can you even go out shopping? Do they open up stores? Do you go in the middle of the night, stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, me and Leo <laughs> at the stores at four in the morning. Do you really? Are you kidding? No, no you don't. don't. I don't know. I think you wouldn't be able to shop at all. Well, people say hello a lot. Right. That's okay. Does that bother you? Does that annoy you? No, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. That's I like it. What, um, what are you going to be doing for holidays? Are you going to go to, to Georgia? Yeah, I'm here in New York until the 18th, and then I go back home to Georgia. Right, and what will you do during, like, the Christmas week, let's say? Just hang out with the family, you know. Uh, yeah. Eat a lot of food. Yeah. Just the regular, you know, the regular stuff. You know, who's also from Georgia is our buddy Ludacris, who's, I know who's he here tonight. Georgia People are excited to see. Yeah, I'm happy what, to see him, too. Would you ever be interested in doing some, you know, what's popular now is these mashups, like Jay-Z and Linkin Park? Oh, yeah, that, well, that started with uh, too many DJs out of Belgium, right? I, I, I know I, this. Yeah, I think so. That sounds about right, and, but... Yeah, it was um, Meredith Danluck and uh, Amy, the two DJs that worked at um, uh, Gavin Brown Enterprise. What's the name of that place? Uh, Passerby. Yeah. Down on 15th Street are the ones who brought the idea of mashup through too many DJs to New York. But, you know, Danger Mouse did it with the Jay-Z album to the Beatles thing, and I think that's when, like, more kids caught on to it. You know where Danger Mouse is from? No. Athens, Georgia. Oh, really? You bet. And do you think this whole mashup, this, this, this collision of music, is that... I mean, I think it sounds cool, but I, what do you think of it? I like, I like some of it that I've seen on TV, and then I like some of it that I've heard a lot. Right. Uh, mostly through the two DJs I was talking about. They, Is that something that R.E.M. would be interested in doing at all? Or? Somebody's doing it right now in Europe. Oh, well, really? Yeah, some of our songs. And what do you think of that? Do you just wait I, to hear them? I, I, li I, li I, li I like it. Yeah. I, think it's cool. <laughs> I thought you were going to break into a song right there. <laughs> fa la 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 <laughs> Michael Stipe, buy my know? album soon. Uh, you just got off the North American tour? Yeah, we finished in Mexico City um, some time ago, and, and uh, I'm just trying to relax and, and keep myself grounded until we, we hit uh, the rest of the world, which starts in yeah. Lisbon on January 7th. That is insane how much touring you do. I mean, do you like touring at this point? You've been doing it for just like a quarter of a century now. I mean, do yeah. you enjoy it, even going overseas? Life is, you know, if you have an option or a choice, life is too short to do things that you don't like to do, and so it's my choice to tour. And yeah, and you to, like it. You like to travel and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Do you TiVo Desperate Housewives when you're on the road? Um, I haven't actually seen that show yet, but there are a lot of things... I figured that would be your favorite show. I don't know why. No, I, I haven't seen it. You would just but love how perverse it really is. I like, that, um, I like that commercial that nobody understood before the Super Bowl. Was that it? The one that... Which one? The, uh, maybe it was a basketball thing. I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, Monday Night Football with yeah. uh, the girl with from Monday. Nicolette Sheridan. I like Curb Your Enthusiasm, and um, I like Malcolm in the Middle. And, um, do you really? Are you just saying that because Chris is back? No, I really do. I... I, I I, I, my friends TiVo it for me. I don't have a TV set. So right. I, yeah. No, I figured you didn't have a TV. Do you? What? Do you? Do you read the papers every day? Of course I do. Yeah. And yeah. what happened at Madison Square Garden? You did a show there right after the election. We did. Yeah. And I read that you lost your pants. Well, I, I pulled them down. You pulled them down. <laughs> I was wearing underwear. What was the deal? You were in. Can you were in. I think I'm not in Canada. Where right now? I don't think you want. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you want. Please to do that. not encourage him to take his pants off here. <laughs> Don't throw money. It hurts. Um, <laughs> don't throw money. What happened at that show? Was it? Were you? What were you feeling we opened, about the election? We, well, yeah. I mean, it was. Uh, it was a great disappointment for me, and I think a lot of people in this country. Uh, and and there it is. But and so there we are, and here we are. But um, uh, we started the show with "It's the end of the world as we know it," which is the first and only time that we'll ever do that. I just didn't really know what to say or or how to say it. I I, I tried to let the music speak for itself and. 
at the end of the show, I pulled my pants down. <laughs> Were you wearing underwear then? or yes, what? I was. Did you take them off and run around? And... Well, no, I couldn't get them off, so they just went down to the ankles, and I kind of, I think Peter Buck uh, carried me off stage. <laughs> President Stide, boxers felt, of briefs. It just felt it felt it felt appropriate to the to the mood of of, of, of the evening. Yeah. To, well, yeah, and it's a New York crowd. It's not like they haven't seen that right when they walk out of MSG and the right, bums hitting exactly. them up for some cash. Uh, so you'll go over here. You're going to start in Lisbon, I guess, here after the holidays, and you'll start the international uh, run yeah. of the tour. And then you. Do you do promotion and do like talk shows when you're overseas to promote the record simultaneously, or is it just concerts? A lot, and the, uh, it, it gets really, um, it gets frankly very weird sometimes. Right. <laughs> doing, uh, doing, uh, uh, doing. Why the, sh the shows are just strange that you have to do, or? There are there are parts of the world where the shows are really bizarre, and uh, and and. Like it's, where? Well, Italy is great for that. For just, uh, we did a show um, some some years ago, and it's a four-hour show with no commercials, and the guy is in his third career. Uh, and he's in his mid-60s, and he broke his ankle halfway through the show, but had to keep It's going. a four-hour show, but they don't stop. They never stop, no. And he broke his ankle in, like, hour two. Yeah, and he just kept, he, they, kind of, <laughs> they kind of propped him up on a beautiful woman wearing not very many clothes. Really? This is yeah, when you were on the that, show? That, that pales in comparison to the weirdest thing that has ever occurred to me anywhere, I think, in 24 years of making music. And okay, where? Everything around. It was in Italy, and uh, it was a live, it was like a... Um, uh, it was it was a it was, it was a live TV show, so it was going out live. Everything goes out live in Italy, and um, uh, and I had to share a room with with um, Cher and Gorbachev. Wait a second. Our dressing room. Hold on, this is a reality show idea. I'm going to pitch this. I know. It's Michael Stipe, Cher, and Gorbachev. I watched the God surreal. What's that called? The surreal life. Yeah, the that's a great show, by the way. It's kind of weird. Wait, so we'll talk about that in a second. But what happened? You're sharing a room. With I'm people. sharing a room with Cher and Gorbachev, and uh, I had to put on some makeup and. Uh, but uh, Raisa was in the bathroom and I, so I couldn't get in. So I just kind of, I borrowed a mirror from Cher or something and, and <laughs> did it you know, in a knife or something like oh, that. Oh, jeez. Uh, my way, but, you know, things like that happen kind of all the time. Yeah, yeah. And do you watch this in real life? Let's get back to that for a second. I have seen it, yeah. What do you think of Flavor Flav and Brigitte Nielsen getting? Well, I, I always admired Flav, you know, from, from the work that he did with, with Chuck D, who's also in Georgia. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot to be said about oh, The Georgia. greats come from Georgia, we know that. Yeah, well, Jesse Norman and Martin Luther King, and yeah. there's a lot of great people. And, and, and so look at this. You signed this for me. This is uh, Around the Sun. I signed that for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're it's welcome. very nice. But people can go out and purchase this, the new REM. I believe it's like the 13th record in 21 years or whatever. It's 25 been. years. 25 years. It's the 13th years. album, but we put out a lot of other records. But this one is special because it's a box, and you get the record, of course. Okay. There's that. So there's the record. And then, <laughs> just throw that aside there. But I did this I did this. By myself. the way, I love this song with Q-tips on one. You don't, yeah. nobody else is on this record, but you have Q-tip on a song called The yeah. Outsiders, which yeah. is awesome. He's awesome. What do you got? Uh, well, we, what, what I did was I kind of curated, for the first time, I'm interested in art and photography and other things, so I kind of curated a show. And uh, I, I picked artists that I liked, and I, I, I asked them each to do a poster. This right. one is, uh, I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Yeah, sure. That's Guillaume Pinard uh, from Marseille, France. If my kid came home from school and made those drawings, I would send them to a shrink immediately, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then on the back is the words to a song. They're oh, that's awesome. So there's like a related. piece of art for each track, but they don't necessarily yeah. coincide, the art and the song. No, they don't coincide. Okay, this well, one is a, a really talented... Did you do any of these? No. And this they're all a... famous artists? No, they're not. Some of them are famous and some of them are not. Okay, this... some of them are weird. <laughs> <laughs> that one's really cool, don't That you one's think? really dark. That's Camille Rose Garcia. She's from Los Angeles. That's nice. I know that you like Fisher Spooner, right? Yeah, I do like Fisher Spooner, who did one of these. They put, yeah, they put in one. It's a horse head that is... I also want to mention, Warner, the entire Warner Brothers catalog of R.E.M. music is coming out in February. Is that right? Do I have that correct? Yeah, they're re-releasing. Are you sanctioning that? I, yeah, I did sanction it. They re-released okay. um, uh, all of our records, and they put a bunch of other stuff on there that people might be interested in. Do you in want people to do this when they buy your record? <laughs> you know what I really want? Oh, I, I the want art. To, Where's the album? I want people to wallpaper their bathroom with these, because I think they're really quite beautiful. Well, this is a nice idea, I think. You Thank know, you. you got the art going on with the album. Ludacris should do this with some graffiti artists. Yeah. All you right. guys like Ludacris, do <laughs> We're on the last one, and it has to be the last one. Here it is. Is that correct? You were looking for the no, Fisher Spooner one? No, I couldn't find oh, it's it. all right. We'll it's find it later. You're king to be here. Happy thank holidays. You, uh, pick up the album. It's from Mariam, the one of the greatest groups of our time. Oh, thank uh, you. Around the Sun. It's available now. The great Michael Stipe. So great to have you. Thank you. Michael Stipe, we'll be right back with Chris Masterson and Ludacris right after this, everybody.